o'clock and we call a meeting to order. Roll call. Uh, everybody except Rich is here. She will not be coming in this call. And we have the agenda. We have uh, four additions to the agenda. Numbers 8, 9, 10, 11 on personnel. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. With those additions, I will mention a motion to adopt. So motion to adopt. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say by the same aye. Aye. Pull the same sign. Motion carries. Uh, we want to approve and correct the minutes from the June 12, 2012 Labor Board meeting. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. <laughs> motion by Dave to approve and a second from Jeff. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor seem to say aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carries. On to the financial reports. We've got the May 2012 Treasury report and the monthly balance sheet. If I can draw your attention to the uh, PMH, we've got some red items in there, and I'll run through those briefly. Um, the first page there, the third line down, uh, the 1500 which looks like
Number one on your business, the board chair will respond to public comment from June 12, 2012 meeting. Uh, Darrell Larson had requested a copy of the mediated settlement agreement, and I think that that is a public document. And, and did you get that from the office? I think you all set with that. Okay, and then you also asked that each of us respond as to whether we think we owe Johnson Controls $295,000 we paid as a settlement. Yeah, did you, did you own that before you agreed to okay. pay it to the The response, we, we voted on October 11, 2011 to accept that proposal, the settlement proposal. At that time, the statement was read explaining our decision. And that statement, it's in the minutes from the October 11 board meeting, and it is available. And if you'd like to have a copy, you can get that from the district office. I'm not personally going to respond any further in any further detail than that. I think it's important to move forward and get this behind us. I think the rest of the board feels the same way, but I would open it up if anybody wants to make a comment on it. If you got the, let you got the letter that we got, the mediation settlement letter? Ah, uh, the agreement, yes. Yeah. Your, your discussion uh, as to whether, oh, oh, okay, Johnson controls did not explain to the facility committee uh, as to you know what their charges were. They said they uh, explained that mediation, so, so nobody's explained that. So I take it that you talked about that in the closed meeting. There's obviously there's items in the closed meeting that we talked about regarding that came out here and voted. Again, the you know the decision was made based that statement that was read. I think Mike put it in the press, and it was it's in the minutes. That explains the decision that we have, and I, I guess we're just, we're going to move forward. We're not going to discuss it any further. I'll respond. Okay. Uh, Darrell, I, I no longer understand your motives. Um, you were against the project. No, I wasn't. Okay. That was I, I was against the project. This is our turn to talk. Okay. Um, we took a roll call vote. I was the only one that voted against it, but the press reported, you know, the reasons for and the reasons against. And uh, the vote carried, and uh, it's over. We're moving on. Okay, that was a major use of school funds, and now you're going to go to the community and ask It's done. More it's money. done. Okay, we're going to move on to number two of the business. We're going to consider approval of OO's 1213 school year revenue and expenditure budgets. That is Exhibit A in your packet. Uh, it has not changed from, from the previous meeting. Target, but we have any idea on the goal? Um, yeah, kindergarten roundup and stuff. Um, I believe kindergarten roundup was about 75. Yeah, this year they were at 78. Okay. So there'll be a couple of retentions. I'm sure. I do not see a huge decrease in next year's or more. And for the year end, what do you, are you anticipating where we're at right now, basically? Um, what we approved at our last meeting, I think, at that budget but I think we were about 200, it's our guess, it's been about 200, and of course that's worst case scenario. Right, you know, we spend anything in the budget. 100. And how does that relate to the, uh, the Well, our estimated fund balance for this year is the 477. That's in comp, that's in, that's what the budget number? So we could spend that 200. Mm -hmm. okay. So it could be better than that. Right. Okay. So it could also make next year's better too.
Home Board. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Number three, we're going to consider authorizing the superintendent to obtain bids for the area of the for the 2012 13 school year. With bids to be opened by 7th, 2012, it's on the This is something that we do need to be able to for bids on our bakery, bakery and dairy bids. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Oh, same sign. Motion carries. Number one under personnel, we're going to consider approval of Mary Linebacker to teach the English boot camp in August. Uh, or you recommend a boot camp for the English for those kids that are not proficient on their MCAs. It's our third or fourth year of doing this. The results have been uh, very beneficial for our kids. And since she is certified, we, uh, we do get tar target services dollars for that. And uh, it's basically a budget neutral. Motion for Mark. Second. Second for Lou. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Both say aye. Motion carries. Number two, we're going to consider approval of Sherry Nelson to teach the math boot camp in August. Uh, we're going to consider approval of Sherry Nelson to teach the math boot camp in August. This is the same thing as the English boot camp. Sherry did this uh, three years ago for us. We posted that position. We did not have any certified. Hearing none, all those in favor say by the same aye. 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 All the same sign. Motion carries. Number three, we're going to consider approval of adding one hour a week to Jennifer Morozik's assignment as Community Education Program Coordinator effective July 1, 2012. Jennifer has been with us for about three years now, and uh, when we first started this program, it was uh, 19 hours a week. Matt is looking to move her to 20 hours a week to qualify her for benefit.
this motion is only for Diane. Yes. And not Exhibit B. No, it's for Diane. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Consider approval of adding two hours per day to Mary Dressinger's assignment to effective 1213 school year. Okay, Mary is a paraprofessional out here and we'll be helping with the supervision piece out here and increasing some uh, coverage for the special ID needs. She's a retired special ID teacher from California and moved back here to Minnesota to retire her and apply for paraprofessional teaching. This is another So Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carries. Number 10, we're going to consider approval of hiring Tim Roper, head wrestling coach, effective for the 12 13 wrestling season. As you recall, uh, Tim resigned uh, earlier this year, and uh, Max had opened it up. His brother in law applied for the position, so he removed himself from that, and David Orling uh, ran the interviews. Uh, they had three applicants. So moved. Motion to comply. Second. Second from Dave. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say no to say aye. 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 Hold the same sign. Motion here. Mm -hmm. Number 11, we're going to consider approval of Arlene Welly, a paraprofessional, five and a half hours a day, effective 12 13 school. Um, as you recall, um, Terry Gates and, uh, resigned her. for her, right? So she was working in that, which opened up this position, and we had like 12 applicants, and uh, you had four or five, and Arlene was the top candidate. They had recommended for her approval. So I'm going to watch the report mark. Second. Second. Hello. Any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all those in favor of the state, I would say aye. 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 Both same sign. Motion carries. And we've just got one informational report tonight. How did that
That's the only one in July, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we just do one in July. Okay, uh, anything else? We had talked to you at the last meeting about uh, some sort of kickoff meeting for the new And we're going to further that discussion now. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. For writing into uh, trouble with the board and the board being involved too much in the kickoff program or the appearance that we are. Um, there's like, some discussions pretty much been batting that one back and forth. Um, I did get the list tonight. I'm not sure. Um, I have not spoken to the quality people myself, but it sounds like the less involvement as board members, we can just go to meetings and get factual information. You're really not supposed to or allowed to spend any money, which would also include our time. My understanding of, of the board's role in this, and we got a, a bit of an opinion from the attorney on that, was that we can't spend any school funds in fact. On our own time, we can go out and promote it as much as we'd like to. We can spend our own money and our own resources doing that. And we can hold informational reports or informational meetings, uh, essentially kind of giving data to the public as to the financial condition, which we've done in the past, uh, of the school, the impact of the levy, you know, mm -hmm. things to that effect. I think that, uh, you know. But that has to be done as an individual, as I said. Not that. That can be done. The, meeting, the informational meetings, that, that's fine. That can be done as part of a, a board. Anything promotional, like a vote yes, we, we can't pay for vote yes signs or anything. That has to come from a community group or something like Keep Quality or something, something not attached to the school funds. So that's my understanding of how that works. And, and you know, maybe we do need to talk about it, uh, holding an informational meeting. I don't know. Well, like I said, I just got the list tonight. And so I will. I would try to get a hold of her and yes, quite a few people, if nothing else. Start there. Yep. Well, so then we could have just a information meeting. meeting. Yes, we could. Okay. And I would, you know, expect now that we're in this time of transition, right now, I think that we need to coordinate with Mr. Hewitt for that. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's really not that people are speaking and start that effort. Can, we can do that, and, and we should, I think we need to, we need right. to uh, disseminate the most information that we can. Right, right. That's why I'm going to go ahead and contact Yes. Now, do we have that, uh, the other event on our website now? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. By middle of July. Oh, middle of July. July. Okay. <clears throat> and they will be, they would be willing to come out and help with an informational meeting once Good. the day is set that Joy would come out. I don't know if anybody's looked at even though I walked in the school district's website that they, when they went for their referendum too, they've got that piece of it that they want to put on there. And it's very nice. I mean, you can sit there, you know, it's got you some what if scenarios. I mean, to try to get specific to your case and it's got the information like, like Jody indicated, if there's something really unique about your situation, all you gotta do is call them, they'll, they'll run the numbers for you. But if you just take a look at even though I walked their yeah. website, I don't know if you've seen it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, they've got a separate like tab for it. It's, Good information. information. That's what that's mm -hmm. we're going to have that up and available. And that's exactly what we need to okay. get that up there soon. Okay, that's on the plan then. And that just going to keep working on that. Oh, like this, it's a, I think that it, it has to come from the community or the grassroots efforts yeah. um, to, to really get, get the word out if they want to push the, the yes vote. And, and I think um, as school board members, I think the public should be aware that yeah, we're in support of, of, of the referendum um, and passing it, and uh, um, but we're restricted somewhat by by statutory limitations as to what we can do and how deeply we can get involved with it. So um, we just need kind of another sector to, to pick up the ball and run with it. Okay. Yes. Are you guys locked into the 723 or whatever you've been talking about? I mean, is 
set in stone? And, and if not, and if not, when does it have to be for it to be on the ballot? Sorry, there was a motion. Uh, yeah, we were approved. <coughs> oh yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of motions. You can change things. I guess, I guess the question is because I don't think you know what kind of funding we're going to be getting next year yet. And that's the beauty of it. We never find we out. Never do. <laughs> that's the whole problem about it, Dick. If you knew it, you could wait till the last minute of the ballot, say the week before. You know, we could lower it or raise it. You can't. The statutory timeline that you've got to get the information to Department of Education, whatever, and then you can't change it after that. What is that date deadline then? Well, I'm not sure what that is, but it's the, the deadline by which the, the certified amount that we're going for has to be. It's like July. Do we have to put out? See, I think some of you know what I'm getting at. I've mentioned to you the additional funding, and you don't seem to acknowledge it or want to believe it. I got the numbers in November from a legislative Dick, that, aid. Which, is that what you talked to me about after this? Um, so that, that's not signed into law. That's not going to happen. It's a proposal. It's, it's it, not going to happen. Well, the legislature doesn't meet again until January. It, but it's not going to happen. I, I've discussed this with other administrators in different schools, Dick, and it's not going to happen. Read, read, if you read the West Central Tribune article today about NLS's budget for next year, you've got one of the figures in there. One of the figures they're always talking about. Yeah. So, I mean, you don't have to acknowledge it, but I don't want to see you out there asking people for money when you can't justify what it's for. That's the big, that's the big scary. Well, we went through that process and we came up, you know, with that. Three months ago, whenever we approved that number, there because was, even you know, because even that 723 down. is still not going to get us very far. I mean, by all the analysis that we've had projected out. I feel like what you're referring to, Dick, is that it's like 180 bucks or whatever right. was per approval. I mean, that 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 was thrown out there a long time ago. That, was it, that number was thrown out a long time ago at the beginning of the session, or whatever, and it was it's never formally been acted upon. It's never been signed into law or approved anywhere. Well, it's on all the Minnesota Department of Ed sites. You know, those numbers are in every school district's numbers when you look at them for this next fiscal year. They're adding it in. Yes. As they're going to get it from the state. There you go. There you go. That's, See, I, I understand. That's not I, how I understand it after quit talking to people. Okay. Well, I talked to Michelle Fishbach's aide and I talked to Kyle West, his legislator. Western's aid. But I, I can see where you, you'd be perplexed every year to try to come up with a budget when you don't know what you're getting. But in order to find out what you're getting, you have to inquire. You're going to have to inquire. You're going to have to do some digging. Because if, if, by the time it comes to you, it may be very late. It may be very, very late in the game. Well, there's a lot of variables in school budget. And even if you know exactly what you're getting, the expenditures and the revenues, the people, there's a huge number of variables. Partially explains why our preliminary budget and our end budget, uh, the final audit, is so far apart. So I, I think we don't have an exact number on that. We came up with the best number that we thought we could get to get the, the you know the public to support it, help us out, and that's the number we chose with. That's the number we're going to go with. So um, you know we just need to. And we could and we could probably go back and, and, and research that a little bit more. I guess I'm I'd be curious because I have not heard that yet either that we had gotten any money. And the other curious thing about the legislature is when they add money somewhere, when it comes out like everybody's getting it, they had the nasty habit of while everybody's getting it up front, somebody's getting it taken out of their back pocket. They did that with transportation. They did that with uh, special ed. They'll do it with it's the take it out of this pot and put it into that pot. I would definitely you know look into it, or I will, because I. To be honest with you, I have not heard that I'm like them, that it was yeah, not written I, into law. I've looked into it for the and last seven months, so, so that's why I thought I'd bring it to you guys. And, but, but you looked into I, the money coming. What I wanted to look into is where is it coming out of? Because they didn't come up with an extra $180 per pupil unit. So
somewhere, it, it had to come from somewhere. So I want to make sure it's not leaving this district out the back door well, before sure, I sure. count it in. And, and that's very door. responsible. That's very responsible to do on anybody's part that cares to. But when the only feedback I get is, oh no, that no, that doesn't exist. That that's not People a don't form. take time. No. People you know, don't take. Was a, it was a budget forecast. People don't take time to put the, the yeah, numbers just, out there for how many districts in Minnesota, just to blow smoke at you. I don't believe that money's not going on the general ed formula. I mean, there hasn't been a change in that. The last change we got was fifty-five dollars. I think two years ago. Where is this oh, money? Yeah. If you did, where is this money going on the formula? I mean, where are they putting it in at? There's three different areas where it mainly is. And that is Bruce. <laughs> I don't recall. I don't recall. Okay. Because seriously, it's they're notorious for it. It's going somewhere. It's, it's got to come from somewhere, and I want to find that before. Right. But like I said, anybody who's got any interest, I'm willing to share it with you. But but when I get the feedback, I do. It's like, what's the point? What is the point? But another issue that's non uh, unrelated. I talked to Donnie already. I think it's time for those vehicle barriers at the Army Reserve to go. <laughs> Can we use utilize them elsewhere? Well, Bonus Plumbing would like some. Yep. And actually, we're talking to Max and Matt, they would like probably six of them to build a barrier and dump their agri line in the middle. Okay. You know, I'll put yep. it yep. But There was talk about putting them in the parking lot, but I don't see no. that happening mm -hmm. because, for one thing, you've got to mark them, you fluorescent, flag them. So and once horrible. you get a snowstorm in there, nobody's going to see them. They're going to run in there. Right? No. How about that little cross <coughs> there, that little makeshift road? Well, they're talking about putting a curb in there. Who's talking about it? We, well, we should say at the administrative meeting, we had talked about putting the curb back in okay. instead of having the. Okay. You know, then at least you'd have to, you know, pull well, it you could put, you could probably jump put one in there somewhere, too. Two by four with nails. I think the goal would be to get rid of those before school. Yeah. I mean, if we'll have to talk about the next meeting with I have. For my part, yeah, take them up. The worst case scenario, break them up? No, I, I, people want them. Yeah. But if we can use them for our use too, for like you said, the angle line or whatever, somewhere you can put some of that stuff, that would be kind of nice yeah. to have. Be nice for that, but don't put it on the parking lot. No, you know, that's not going to hurt anything from driving through. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Um, it had been suggested, I can't remember who, that we've got a new superintendent coming in, and that goes. Um, this is Todd's final meeting, so I'd like to thank him publicly for his years of service. And Wish you well in the future. Thank you. Um, but it had been suggested that we hold a reception for Mr. Hewitt, possibly, and I don't know if that's something the board wants to discuss now, possibly before next board meeting, or you know, if that's July 17th, maybe an hour before or something. Sure. Like that. That would I don't know if that makes sense to do something yep. like that, or sure. just kind of have a little reception <coughs> here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can kind of plan on that and get that together. So that'll be the 17th. July and we'll have the meeting or start. The meeting will be at 8 at this normal time and we'll set up kind of a reception for people that would like to come to meet Mr. Hewitt. 7 to 8 or 6 30 to 8? What do you think? Take an hour drop? 6 30 to 8. Did you say 6 30? Take an hour and a half before yep. the meeting. Yep. And whoever wants to come in from the public. Okay, so we'll plan on that at 6 30 and 17. <coughs> Anything else? Not many stirs.